Hi guys, I just created this look today. It's very soft, smoky, vampy, but still very wearable. Uh, hopefully you guys are going to like this video. Please keep on watching and I'll see you on the other side means no makeup. Till then, bye. Welcome to my no makeup face. Spraying Smashbox water primer to start things. Hydro Exotone Air Cushion Foundation. This is the first time I tried this foundation. And I can already tell you this is going to be my new obsession. Such a lightweight foundation. It stays on your face like a dream. And I'm applying this with my Sephora 56 brush. And now on my lids also. Lids water, anti wrinkle eyelid primer. Blending this with my fingers. Color saddle by Mac with my dancing movements and applying as my crease color with fluffy blending brush. Another color by MAC Dance in the Dark It's such a pretty purple kind of color and I'm applying this color on inner lids and outer V with Sigma E25 brush Just going back and forth with this color to get a proper pigmentation and to create a sandwich kind of look But my main focus is going to be still my lid color Again, Color Saddle by MAC, blending the edges to give a soft look onto the crease. Sephora Waterproof Jumbo Liner 01 White, applying onto the center of my lid for lightening up the area uh, so the other lid color will show up properly. One more color by MAC, Unwind is now being used on my lid this color is so interesting and beautiful that it actually changes with the lighting in the pan it looks like more like bronzy golden shade but when you apply it it looks like more lime golden shade uh, going back with dance in the dark color to give more pigmentation on the sides blending with Saddle by MAC With this kind of makeup looks you have to go back and forth to get a proper pigmentation Spraying Smashbox water primer on my concealer brush Dipping this brush in color unwind to get a more metallic finish One more time with pencil brush dance in the dark and going to blend this again with saddle Lorac brow pencil I'm speaking skipping my eyebrow routine Hybro glow pencil by benefit is going under my eyebrows as my brow bone highlighter going to blend this with my fingers going back with color saddle to blend for the last time and to get whole look together blink eyeliner applying a very thin line of liner with this pen so now our showstopper Too Faced Bulletproof 24 Hour Shadow Liner It's a purple color shadow liner Applying on my lower lash line It's going to give a wow factor to our look Going to smudge this color
then I realized I did not apply my concealer. So bare minerals, bare skin concealer applying under my eyes, nose, chin, around my mouth, mixing with Clinique line smoothing concealer. This Clinique one is pink based, the other one was yellow based. Uh, and just using a dabbing motion with Sephora 56 brush. Setting my concealer with Shishido Satin Face Color WT905 and I'll try to find this product. Just check my description box. Too Faced, one more time, Too Faced Shadow Liner under my lower lash line to give more pigmentation. Pixie Endless Silky Eye Pen which is going on my waterline. Bare Minerals Mineral Veil setting my whole face with this powder. It has pink and peach tone which makes your skin so flawless. It Cosmetics Kit I'll try to find this bronzer from this kit. Uh, it's, this kit is not available but I know this bronzer is available. So just check the description box. And I'm bronzing my face with this bronzer. Same kit this color blush color and applying on my apple of my cheek bones Vesti by color pop lip pencil and I'm carving my lips with this pencil Kat Von D Rakeem lipstick this kind of lip colors are my favorite and this is such a pretty purple color Bobbi Brown pink glow highlighter applying on highest point of my cheekbones nose cupid bows center of my forehead my chin Nars Paloma with Sephora contour brush I'm just a little bit carving my cheekbones and jawline with shader brush and the same color Paloma by NARS I'm carving my nose now blending this with my fingers Hypnosis Drama by Lancome Applying two coats of mascara and trying to separate all my lashes And this was our last step So here's our final look I really like this look it's looking really very wearable daytime appropriate also and evening appropriate also hopefully you guys are going to like this video please subscribe and I'll see you on my next video till then bye